guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to review this brush is the silver black velvet number 16 the reason why I bought this brush is because I have a couple of commissions that are bigger size and I wanted to invest in a bigger brush so it will help me hopefully get those commissions faster out and you know cover more space so I was looking around uh, online obviously on YouTube and stuff and there was a lot of reviews but there was uh, kind of uh, like um, nothing ex specific on what I do so I just gave it a gamble and I bought it now first look on it is a gorgeous uh, brush and then it holds it fits really good my hand it feels a little on the heavier side but obviously I mean it's a bigger brush so it does um, have some weight on it but other than that the balance is great so I really like it so I was really excited to use it the first time now um, here when I dip it in the water first thing I notice it feels really soft uh, you can tell right away now I'm coming from synthetic brushes all my brushes that I have ever used had been synthetic and this is a blend uh, this brush you can find it in Amazon and I'll leave a link below for it and it was $20 on Amazon plus uh, cheaping I have Amazon Prime so my chipping was free but I'm not sure how much it will be for you but you can check it out on the link be below and my first impression I was really impressed with it and I just wanted to use it right away so I tried on my painting first thing I'm gonna pop out a little thing here where you can see where I'm trying it and honestly I was a little scared so coming from being a uh, painter I usually my my primary technique is wet on dry so I'm not used to so much water on the paper so first thing I noticed was when I put it in there a lot of water came out and then I was like oh my god and it was I used it in one of my commissions so I was like oh my god but it took me a while to get used to that because it holds a lot of water which might be something you guys want but look at that it has holds a lot of water the the only thing another thing that was difficult for me was like it doesn't bounce back like synthetic brushes like you can move it and it just stays like that now that might be beneficial if you want to use your brush and make make it like that to create a design on your painting or something but coming from being a synthetic uh, brush user um, it was kind of challenging to learn how to use it after two commissions I think I got used to it and I think um, I wouldn't say I've mastered it but I think I know exactly what will be useful for me and where can I use it I can use it for all uh, so mainly I'm gonna be using it to cover large spaces and kind of uh, complete backgrounds and things like that so that was basically why I wanted a bigger brush so I'm happy about that but for details for my style it's not gonna be able to handle all the details at once so I'm gonna use my synthetic for that I don't think I'm gonna buy smaller sizes of a blend because I just think it's too soft for me it's not as stiff and I think like when I go to go and do some detail it might be very challenging for me I think I can get used to it but I don't I don't feel the need to buy smaller so I'm happy with this size and I'm gonna continue using it and now if you are a loose painter kind of an impressionist or you just do flowers or things like that let me show you how this actually paints so so far you can actually make really thin lines there you go and it handles pretty well like I said you need, you need to be careful not to press too much just barely touching the paper so it doesn't go too thick and then if you want to do thicker lines 
or leaves if you do like those kind of paintings. As you can see, it's very easy to do and it holds plenty of water in there for you to play with it. And if you're wondering what kind of paper I'm using, I'm using the Canson XL. And this paper might not be the best for this kind of brush and let me tell you why. Uh, because this brush holds so much water, then the Canson paper is just not capable of holding or handling all that water being dumped on it. So it tends to work more with the blend and it also tends to dry kind of patchy. So you guys need to keep that in mind. Try to use mainly like an um, arches. Uh, um, kind of like 100% cotton watercolor papers because they will handle all the water better than uh, than the Canson XL. Now I like the Canson XL because it's good quality, it's good price and since I use wet on dry it doesn't really affect me too much. As you guys can see I can even paint standing up and uh, um, I have no problem because since I'm doing wet on dry, it doesn't drip too much. Now if you do wet on wet, then I do not recommend to be standing while you paint because everything is just going to drip. I mean, unless you want that kind of look, then if that's your style, those drips all over, I mean, I think it will look pretty cool. So if maybe you want to try it after watching this. I want to try after watching this. <laughs> Anyways. So, another thing I noticed compared to my synthetic is I end up cleaning the water a lot more. For example, doing a large painting, I will change the water maybe once throughout the whole painting. With this brush, just doing the first layer and uh, kind of finding my way around the first layer, second layer, I change the water about twice and then by the end of the painting I change my water about six or seven times so keep that in mind you're gonna use more water you probably want to use like the technique that some youtubers gave you put two 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 waters one that you first dip it and then clean your your brush more on the second one another thing is since it holds so much water you need to make sure that brush is really clean because if it's not really clean, it's going to hold pigment in there and then you're going to end up getting pigment of other colors in your paper. Now, that happened to me. I was able to save my commission, but it was very scary to see that happen. So I don't want that to be a surprise for you. Um, uh, this brush is about nine inches and a half. And then the thickness here is about 3 eighths of an inch. And if you are wondering that, this is number 16. Uh, they have other sizes. They have 18. I, I don't remember how, how, how big they get, but I remember the number 18 because I was trying to decide whether the 16 or the 18. And there are about four dollars more for the 18 but you can check all that out on the link below through amazon and other than that guys i hope you guys enjoy this uh kind of brief um review of this brush uh then again this brush is a blend it has squirrel hair and synthetic hairs and it's it promises to hold its shape better than a full um, natural hairbrush. However, I don't have anything to compare to, so I'm not sure. But compared to a synthetic uh, brush, it definitely doesn't hold it that well. However, if you dip it in the water on your paint again, then it will regain the shape easily. Uh, you have to be very careful careful with the bristles too because they tend to when it dries they tend to move all over the, the place so just dry this the right way 
and make sure you take care of it because natural hair will definitely um, kind of fade or get worse faster I think I'm gonna be replacing this pretty soon and to be honest with you uh, with my style I'm probably gonna end up buying something fully synthetic next time because now I know with my style it's not gonna work I got used to to it pretty quick um, but I would like to be able to use that more so I feel like if it were synthetic I will be able to use it more but if you are a loose painter if you do flowers and all that you guys can see it's gonna be really fun for you uh, it it manages really easy for loose painters and it's it's dreamy for loose painters I think uh, I'm not very good at using this technique honestly um, I like more control on my strokes but I know there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy kind of loose painting and they use it for more for a therapeutic uh, kind of uh, outlet but um, for me it works for now and I just got to get used to it because of it not bouncing back and holding so much water but at the end I make it work and I ended up making all those commissions that turn out pretty good so if you like this review and you would like to see more go ahead and head to my channel and give me a thumbs up to this video and subscribe if you want I do reviews um, of things I randomly buy for myself and then I just want to review it and see tell you guys how it works in my style how it would work in other styles that I that I have some basic knowledge on obviously I don't know all the styles but uh, I can tell you about if it will work for a loose painter if it will work for a uh, more control uh, kind of painting like realism or semi-realism or things like that and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time